And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at the new Keyforge two-player starter set. Now this is a little different than reviews because if you notice, it's in shrink. I've already opened uh, one of the starter sets, went through it, looked at everything. This is kind of a review of what comes in this starter set. So there's new Keyforge decks, and I need to play Keyforge a lot more before I can talk about the new mechanisms and things that are inside Keyforge, but there's a lot of cool stuff in it. I just want to show you what comes in this starter set because it is different than the first one, and I think the cool way to do it, so I got a, a, a brand new sealed one, I figured we could open it together and look at it. So it's kind of like an unboxing, but I already know what's in here. So I want to talk about the stuff that's in it. Here we go. Okay, so let's take a look here at this box. So we'll open it up and see. So, if you remember, the original box had four starter decks in it, two that were in everyone's box. This one does not have done it. This one just comes with two unique sets. So, the first thing here is we'll look at the rules. Rules are pretty much the same with the except of that they show you some advanced concepts here, most of which were in the original set. There are some different ones here. And then it talks about how unique cards work, etc., how to play. But very basic, just like the original one. This, though, is a big difference in this game. So first of all, these were cards in the original one. Now it's a piece of cardboard for, for the chains. I'm much in favor of that. But even more importantly, stun and plus power are tokens. This just makes a whole lot more sense. People have already replaced these and are using these as tokens all over the place anyway. But you see you get a ton of them here. You also get uh, these keys, although I don't use these because I got some really, really nice custom ones made, and the amber, and of course the keys. So this is all a lot of counters in this set. Then we have the player mats, I guess, which works okay. This is nice and looking. They're not like super quality, and I would rather have, of course, like a neoprene mat. But of course, you're getting this as a starter deck. So we have two of these that come in here. So that's a nice addition to the game. I mean, you can use these and not have to worry about it. And then the decks themselves. So let's take a look at what these decks are. Make sure I covered the cure. The Counterfeit Mortician. <laughs> wow, that's a great name. That is a fantastic name. I'm very pleased with this name. But anyway, so it shows you all different cards that are in here. So you can see, well, I got a Sanctum Guardian, a bunch of little nifts, whatever they are, and a Lethal Distraction. So that works really well. So let's, uh, we'll pop the deck open and take a look at some of the cards here. The Counterfeit Mortician, ooh, that has aliens, I like aliens. That even looks kind of like a Counterfeit Mortician, so. There's my lethal distraction. Choose a creature for the remainder of turn. Whenever this creature takes damage, it takes an additional two damage. Hehehe. <laughs> so, there's a little nifts. Omega deploy elusive. After a neighbor, little nifts used to fight steal one. Ooh. And I got three of those. Nice. So that's a pretty cool. Some stealing stuff here. Bad penny. I remember her from the original set. So. Cool. Sanctum Guardians, Sanctum here, Potion of Invulnerability, Protect the Weak. And then Sample Collection, Red Planet Ray Gun, Orbital Bombardment, Zzzx Jockworm. Oh, I like that picture, at least a Mother Gun. And the Collector Worm. Archive the creature you fight. If that creature leaves your archives, put it in her hand instead. Alright, cool. Well, that's neat. That's the Counterfeit Mortician deck. So now let's take a look at the other deck. There's no way this name will be as good as that one. Let's see what we got here. Eden of Brown Mare Volcano. Well, that's not an awful name, but it's not as cool as Counterfeit Mortician. But still, the Counterfeit Mortician sounds like a name of a good movie. So anyway, ah, oh, neat. I got two different factions on this deck here, so that's a nice combo. So we get to see some more stuff. There's some more sucker punches. There's another bad penny. Oh, two bad pennies. Man, these keep showing up. Um, oh, never. Wait a minute. That's a bad penny and a. 
Oh, no, I didn't get two different factions. I got two of the same factions. Okay, never mind. Not as cool. King of the Crack. Ooh, seven. Each enemy brown bear creature gets minus two power. I'm not so good that I can tell immediately if something's... Like Bad Penny, I remember from the original set, but I don't remember if these are in there. One, two, punch. Stun a creature. If it's already stunned, destroy it. Ooh, I wish I got two of those. That'd be nice. Alrighty, so that is Eden, a brown mirror volcano. I will say that the new set obviously has more stuff that's being added to the pictures too. The pictures, I've seen some neat pictures that they've done. So that's pretty much it. We got, you know, this that you'll put inside the box here. And that's what's inside a two-player starter set for Keyforge. Um, I like it. So on one hand, I'm kind of thinking, you know, the, the token thing seems obvious from hindsight. Like, why did they do cards to begin with, and why did they switch to tokens now? But big deal. Also, most people who are really in the Keyforge have already gotten their own tokens and deck things. But Fantasy Flight is releasing very soon. This at Gen Con, I believe, or at, at least they're showing them at Gen Con, new accessories for Keyforge. But this is a good two-player starter set, right? You're not. It's a little cheaper than the other one because you're not paying for those two pre-built decks that no one uses anymore. Everyone wants their own unique deck. It just comes with those two decks. So this is worth getting if you want all the tokens. If you don't want all the tokens and stuff, then just go buy a bunch of decks. There's a pile that are out there. But I thought this was a nice setup. It's a good way to get into the game. If you never played Keyforge before, you can jump in and grab these two decks and get playing. Ah, counterfeit Mortician, what a great thing. Anyway, I'm Tom Vassal, and that's just a quick look at Keyforge Age of Ascension, the uh, two-player starter set.